friends, welcome back. Miss Walker here, and of course, Monkey the Mathematician. And we are here today to go through Module 3, Lesson 3. So, Lesson 3.3. So, let's start with our objective for today. So, repeat after me I can use objects and draw to show how to add three numbers. I'll say it one more time. And if you want to say it with me, please go ahead. And if you're not sure, I, let me see if I can show you. If I have a highlighter, that would be helpful. I'm actually just going to circle it. So right here, my friends, I am using this so we can say it together. Ready? I'm going to read it. You could say it along with me. I can use objects and draw to show how to add three numbers. So today, that's what we're focusing on. We're focusing on how to add three numbers. So let's get right into the lesson. All right, we're going to start on this one. It says, Mrs. Smith uses six apples, three oranges, and four bananas in her fruit salad. Carla wants to know how many pieces of fruit Mrs. Smith uses. Oh, look at that. I love how some of you are already circling your numbers. Six, three, and four are so important because, and then, let's see. Carla wants to know how many pieces of fruit. Is that important? Yes, because it's we're trying to figure out how many pieces of fruit all together. So that kind of gives us a clue to know that we need to add. So look, it even set up the equation for us, six plus three plus four. And it says Carla uses six red cubes, three orange cubes, and four yellow cubes to show the problem. What addition fact does this show? All right, friends, we have to figure out what this shows. Let's count. Can you count with me? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Great job. And how many is it over here? One, two, three, four. Awesome, friends. And then what would our total be? Should we try the count on strategy? So we know that there are nine right here. So what comes after nine? 10, 11, 12, 13. That strategy was really helpful and saved us time from having to go all the way back and start at one. So our sum is 13. Let's look at part B. It says, what is another concrete model Carla could use to find the sum? Well, friends, let's go ahead and get ready to draw. So what if we start with the apples? How many apples did she have? Yes, friends, she had six apples. How many oranges? three, and how many bananas? Four. Boys and girls, thinking about those numbers, does anyone see a way that we can make a 10? Think about those numbers. We said six, oops, undo that. I meant to write a number. So we said six apples, and we said, three oranges, and we said four bananas. Does anyone see a way we can make a 10? Okay, I think some of you want us to try to put the apples and the bananas together. So let's go ahead and draw that. Ready? Can you count with me to six? Let's draw six red cubes that represent the apples. Oh, that's not red, Miss Walker. Try again. Okay, ready? One, two, three, 
four, five, and six. Awesome. And I think some of you wanted me to put the apples and the bananas together because that would be a way we could make 10. So let's switch on over to the banana color. How many bananas were there? That's right, four. Can you help me count to four? One, two, three, and four. Awesome. And what are we forgetting? If you said oranges, that's correct. How many oranges are there? Yes, three. Help me count to three. One, two, and three. Awesome, friends. Let's go ahead and write our equation. So we know, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to erase these numbers up here to not confuse us. All right. So we know that for this first part, we had six. Can you help me count on from six? Seven. Good job. Eight. Nine. Ten. Hey, friends, we made a ten. So let's start by writing ten. That's what we did. We were able to make a 10 by putting together the six apples and the four bananas. Friends, how many oranges were there? Yes, there were three oranges. Friends, what is 10 plus three? Let's try to count on. So we're gonna start by putting 10 in our head and counting on three more. So what comes after 10? 11, 12, 13. So what's our sum? 13. So how many pieces of fruit did Mrs. Smith use? That's right. She used 13 pieces of fruit. Time to turn and talk. Oh, here's my friend that I'm talking with. And you can turn and talk to your homeschool teacher while I turn and talk to Monkey the Mathematician. Monkey, why can you choose which two add-ins you add first? What do you think? Oh. Monkey said it doesn't matter which numbers you add together first because you have the same total number of things all together. But Monkey, is it sometimes easier to start by adding you know, certain numbers together. For example, in this problem, right here in part B, I decided to make a 10, remember? The boys and girls and I wanted to do that. That can be helpful, right? He agrees, that can be helpful. So yes, while it doesn't matter which numbers you add together first, sometimes it's more helpful to use your strategies and add numbers together that will make a 10 or doubles. Those are helpful strategies, boys and girls. All right, let's move to our next page. This page is page 87. It says, step it out. Here we go. There are five black pens. Some of you are just circling the numbers automatically by now. That is awesome. Two red pens and four blue pens on the desk. How many pens are on the desk? Show each add-in, five plus two plus four. All right. So this first box right here is one way to do it. And this is where we're gonna do another way. So for our first way, we are going to group it how they have done it here. So for the first way, let's go ahead and do it into these two groups. So how many in my first group? Let's go ahead and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Awesome. And how many in this little group? One, two, three, four. Yay. Friends, let's put seven in our head and count on four more. Ready? Seven. What comes after seven? Eight. 9, 10, 11. So our sum is 11. Now we need to try to figure out another way. 
So what if we go this way? Can you help me count how many are in that box that I just drew? Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine in the, nine will be our first add-in because we counted that. How many are outside of the box? One, two. Awesome. Boys and girls, let's count on from nine. Let's count two more numbers and see what we get. Ready? Nine. What comes after nine? 10, 11. So what's our sum? 11. So five plus two plus four, what does it equal? If you said 11, you are spot on, my friends. There are 11 pens on the desk. Well, it's time for you to do check your understanding with your homeschool teacher. It has been wonderful working with you today and I look forward to seeing you next time. What's that? Oh, of course, Monkey said, we can't end a video without my flips. Okay, Monkey, careful, the, the computer, I, I don't want the computer to, ah, ah, ah. Monkey's a little hyper today. Maybe he needs, um, I don't know, some water or something. I'm not sure. Anyways, have a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, friends.